everything you need to know about the alternative strategies in your Edgewong trading journal. You find the alternative strategies in the left menu under strategy lab and then alternative strategies. With the help of the alternative strategies, you can test different strategy variations. For example, you can test how a different stop loss, how a different take profit approach, how a different trade management technique would have worked and performed for your actual trading strategies. The alternative strategies can therefore be a huge time saver and help you improve and develop your edge further. Now let me show you how to set up and start testing your alternative strategies. It's very simple. First, we want to create a new alternative strategy. You can see a new box has been created. First, I would recommend to select a setup. Typically what you're doing is that for a specific setup that you're already trading, you want to test a variation of the setup. So assuming we want to test a variation for our pin bar setup, we can choose it in the setup menu and then you can see Edrong is already starting to pull in some data. We can also write in the name of the alternative strategy. You can see in the first alternative strategy, we have tested a passive trade management. Let's assume now we want to test an aggressive entry and we write it in here. Next in the information box, we would recommend to write down the specific rule change. What are you changing for the setup and what are you testing here? This will help you later to remember what was going on in the alternative strategy. Be specific and write down the rule change here that you are testing. When you scroll down a little bit, you will see a small table and this is the table with all the specific trades that you have actually taken in your trading journal with a specific pin bar setup. For example, we could go back to our journal. We use our filter here for setup and then for pin bar. And then you can see those are the 10 trades that the alternative strategy is referring to. We go back and we reopen our alternative strategy here. And those are the 10 trades that you have taken in your trading journal. Under profit, this is the actual profit that you have recorded in your trading journal for the trades that you have actually taken in your trading account. This is also the R multiple. If you're using stop loss and target levels in your trading, the R multiple will also be shown here for the trades. Then you have two extra columns here where you have a profit and R multiple. Those are by default zero when you're creating a new alternative strategy because they are referring to the hypothetical outcome of the variation. So what are you doing now is you go through each trade one by one and you add a new profit based on the rule change. So what you can do is you just click on the trade idea here. Edgewonk will open the trade. You can review what was going on here. If you have added screenshots to the trade, you can access them here. And this makes your review and your alternative strategy testing much easier because you just have to look at the screenshot and then analyze what would have happened based on the rule change. So we open the trade, we go to the alternative strategy tab that has been created for that trade, and then we type in the outcome for the trade. Once you save it, you will see that it updates here in the table, and then you just keep repeating it for all of the trades here. After you've gone through the list, you will see that on the right side, the graph has updated. In green, you see the actual trades, which is the trading data from your journal based on the trades that you've actually taken. And in red, you'll see the alternative strategy, which is based on the data in, that you've just entered here. When you hover over the line graph, you will also see the performance breakdown. The actual trading data shows a win of 451 US dollar versus the alternative strategy shows 1117. So the strategy variation that we have tested here seems to be overperforming and would have provided better results. Now the trader could implement a strategy change to his actual trading approach and then take his trades with a new and updated trading strategy. The alternative strategy can be a great time saver and if you have an idea that you always wanted to test, this can help you improve your process and then you have everything under one roof in your trading journal.